Hey guys, I'm Alex Pierce, and today we're going to be talking about UV Packmaster and Simple Bake, how to combine multiple objects into one in one material, one mesh. So right now we have these nine objects, three different materials, and we want to combine them all into one. And UV Packmaster and Simple Bake are my go-to tools, and they they make the process easier and more efficient, and they give you a lot of uh, flexibility. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. So if we wanted to combine these materials, one of the things we're going to have to do is make sure that we uh, create a new UV map or we, we make the UV map work for all objects. So there's a few different things we could do here. Um, you could join things from a similar material first, and sometimes that's that might be the easiest. For this example, I'm, I'm not going to because there's, there's a very specific reason why I'm not going to. Before I forget, the first thing we should do is we should make new UV maps. You probably won't really notice a difference on these models cause, because it's the most simple material ever made. But if this had an image and we started tweaking this UV map, it would start, it would mess everything up. So the first thing you want to do is if these are the objects that we want to bake, we want to make a new UV map for all of these, okay? It's going to do plus, and then you can rename this if you want. So I usually name mine uh, APUV. That uh, AP is just my initials, Alex Pierce. That way I know that this one is mine, and then I do the same for the for the rest of them. Um, you can do it however you want. For now, I'm just going to push plus on all of these. Um, the one thing, one reason it's good to to name your UV maps is because sometimes you have like. 10 UV maps. If you bought it from online, sometimes they have like all sorts of UV maps and maybe you need them, maybe you don't. So it's sometimes good to know which one is which. So you don't have 10 different UV maps called UV map.001.002, whatever. And now um, the original UV map, this one here, uh, is on the render tab and this one is selected. That's important. All of these have to have that. And actually I will show you an example real quick. So we put an image on here. It's not gonna be the best image, but let's just put it on here. So this UV map, the one that's not set to render, we can move this all day long and it's not gonna change what this is actually seeing. Nothing is changing here, right? Um, because this one is the one that's being rendered. But if we were gonna bake this right now, um, it would bake what's there into this part of the UV map. And that'll make more sense as we go along, if this doesn't make sense to you. If we were to select this one, right? And we start moving this one. This is selected. This is the same one that's being rendered. You can see how it messes up our UVs. So just make sure that before you move forward, that you have a new UV map on all of these and that the new UV map is the one that's selected. Okay. So let's go ahead and first just jump right into the UV map. So if we select these and then we select these and then we select these, then we can go into our UV editing tab and by default it's switched into edit mode over here but if it's not you can push tab to get into edit mode A to select all vertices and then make sure that this button right here is checked this is a sync selection uh, you let me just hover over UV sync selection yeah now right now you could see if we were to bake the materials out three different materials on top of each other we would get a very, very weird result because the monkey is overlapping the torus, which is overlapping the cube. So in regular Blender, you can do UV, pack UV, and then it will uh, pack this here. And there's no margin. I guess there's a little bit of a margin. So let me see. Um, let me see here. We'll do margin. We'll put uh, 0.3 margin. That should be good. Um, so this is what the, the default pack UV does. And if you don't want overlapping UVs, um, then th this is good, but we'll get there in a minute. So just, let's just first look at the UV pack master way of packing. So if once you've installed it, you can go to UV pack master and the, um, uh, in the UV editor tab on the in menu over here, UV pack master. And one of the tools we can use here is measure area. So if we measure that, it will tell us right now, this is packed to 0.58. Okay, now with the default, all of the default um, UV Packmaster settings, except for this one, 
All right, actually, I'll show you first. By default, this is turned off. So let's do that. Let's do pack. Um, and let me make sure that the basic options margin is 0 0.003. That's good. All right, so with just the default options, this is the, I think, free version of uh, uh, UV Pack Master. I can do measure area, and you can see we're already at 0.792. So what that means is 79% of this UV map is being taken up as as opposed to blenders packing, which was 0.58, so 58%. So it, it, it did a much, much better job of packing everything here uh, just by default. Now, the other thing is in general, if you wanna buy, I mean, I'll just tell you, if you have the money, buy the pro version of UV Packmaster, it's amazing. And one of the things you're always, basically always gonna wanna check is this enable heuristic which will in general do a better job, but also is kind of necessary for complex uh, meshes and for some of the advanced options, you basically have to have this done. And what it does, I'll show you. Now if I push pack, it's going to basically keep trying. Uh, it's gonna keep trying to do, to pack it to get a better version until I push escape. So it'll do this all day long if I let it. And you can see it's already at 0.798, which is a little bit better. Um, the other one was 0.792, now it's at 0.798. Um, and yeah, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and press escape and, and yeah, so that, that did a, a good job of packing everything in here. Um, the other thing we can do is we know that these three objects, they're sharing this, like this, the cube is sharing all one material and I'm not trying to bake like lighting into this particular thing. So I don't care if it's overlapping. In fact, I want it to be overlapping. So we have, we use the UV space better. Um, so how do we align them all. Well, uh, UV Packmaster makes that really easy. So if we scroll down to, let me hide this, we scroll down to advanced options, and then we scroll to the bottom here, we have um, a few different options here. If we do align similar, so I have everything to select align similar, you can see it aligned everything that is the same. And then you can lock overlapping. So the basically for what I am doing, well, for the most part, I'm either going to use disabled or exact. So disabled would be, uh, I want no overlapping faces, and exact would be, hey, this cube is the exact same cube. It takes up the exact same amount of UV space. So I want this to be to lock overlapping. And now when I push pack, you can see what what you can see the results. So basically, and and now if you look down here, the UV space isn't being used as well. 0.653 as opposed to 0.798 but the the overlap we obviously this is these textures are going to be a lot crisper because they take up more of the the uv space itself so and there are things we can do to to make use of this space and i'll get to that here in a minute but uh but yeah so it makes it very 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 easy to overlap to, to make your overlapping uh faces align but let's look at another option so Let's say that we know that because uh, right now this torus is taking up most of this, most of the resolution from this uh, UV map, right? Let's say that the torus was a background element and the monkey was a, more of a foreground element, and we wanted the monkey to take up more more space. Um, what we could do, one thing we could do is, so we can select all of our monkey here. It's pushing L. Um, and now what we can do is we can come down here to packing box. This is one of my favorite, favorite things about, um, UV pack master. So now we can go down here and there's different things you could do. You can do draw packing box and then you can push right mouse and you can say, Hey, I want half of this, this UV space to be. I want the monkey to be in, in this part, right? And then I, what I like to do, I draw it, and then I'll put these in absolute value. So this should be zero, one, one, 0.5. So it takes up half of this, right? So with this packing box enabled, and with the monkey selected, now I can do pack. And now you can see it packed it just in this packing box, okay? And I'm gonna push escape for now. And then we could do the same thing here. We could do another packing box down here and we could do, we could either do two different packing boxes for each one of these materials. But the other thing we can do, I can do control I that selects the inverse of this, right? 
I'm going to disable the packing box. So disable the packing box. And then up here under advanced options, there's this pack to others. <coughs> what pack to others will do is it'll say, hey, um, everything that's selected, I'm gonna pack it around everything that's not selected. So if we go up here and push pack, there we go. And now you can see, I'm just gonna let it keep going for a little bit, push escape. Now you can see that um, we now have successfully made the monkey bigger and this part smaller. So uh, so yeah, now if we were to bake this, we would have a, we would get a really clean result. Okay, let's say that you don't want overlapping faces, right? <clears throat> Well, so you can come down here to the advanced options, lock overlapping, push disabled, select all and pack. Ah, I have packed others still enabled. So let me come down here, turn that off and I can say pack. And now it will, you know, it'll do this. It'll un make them unaligned. That makes sense. Okay, so then we get something like this. Well, this isn't ideal uh, because for a few reasons, but for one, these are not in the same area. So if there's any bleed over, um, that could be an issue. It kind of it kind of depends on what you're doing. If you're baking lighting in this, what you one thing that you might do is one thing you would probably would want to do is just simply uh, give a little bit more of a margin so that if it bleeds over, that's okay. So yeah, so now there's a little bit more of a gap between everything. It's not as efficient, it's not as, uh, but it, it will be better for what we're trying to do. But even still, we could say, you know, I, I like how these are all in the same area, but I really want everything else to be in the same area. Um, there are some, some advanced tools you can do. You can do this uh, packing mode, you can do group, groups together, and you can do material. Well, let's actually, I'm just going to go ahead and try that. Let's see what happens. So in, in this particular result, it did a pretty good job, right? Um, I actually like that right there. I'm going to push escape. So now these are all in the same area. So if there's any bleed over from here, if, if, it, if this is green, for instance, and it, and it comes over here, it's not going to be as big of a deal as opposed to areas where you know, where it was before, where there was basically the monkey was all around it. Um, so that's great. That's really cool. And then for some, for a lot more complex objects, uh, the best, I think the best thing is just using the packing, uh, the packing box. Going back down, let's go down to packing box, enable packing box, and then, and then choosing what you, however you want to do it. So if you have four textures, they're all uh, important, then you could just take up a quarter of the space for one, a quarter for the other, a quarter for the other, a quarter for the other, um, and that could be that. Okay, so now let's look at baking. So we go to the render tab. Uh, if you have any issues with baking, you could try the CPU. The other thing is you can go to edit, preferences, system, and then if you have CUDA, you can have CUDA checked and make sure that the CPU is unchecked. You cannot bake with optics, so don't don't try it. <laughs> um, all right, so we come out of edit mode by pushing tab. Now we're in object mode. Now we select all the objects we want to bake. We go down to simple bake, bake mode. Let's say we just want diffuse for now, but of course you could choose any of these that you want. We're gonna do 4K and we're gonna do we're not gonna check new UV maps. We're gonna do multiple objects to one texture set. Uh, it's gonna give you a warning, but if you've unwrapped it okay, this should this should work all right. Bake one is fine. Copy and apply bakes. Hide source after, yes. Before I push bake, I'm going to save, always. Um, this particular one, I guess, yeah, we'll just call it untitled. That's a perfect name. I don't have any of those blends laying around. Uh, and then the other thing I'm gonna do is go to window go down to toggle system console. I already had it open it, so I closed it, but now we have this console and it'll tell us important information. So I'm gonna double check everything, right? So uh, I've got multiple objects selected. I'm in object mode. I have diffuse checked. I have 4K checked. 
bake margin, I'm actually going to turn this down. It's kind of the bleed over. Um, and we, we have a good margin on there, so I think maybe two will be okay. And then export bakes. I do want to export bakes. Um, and then, yep, everything else looks good. Save again. And then let's do bake. Now, if you come down to the console, it will tell you what's going on with Simple Bake. Um, the console's great. I've mentioned this in other videos, but the console is great for a lot of things, especially add-ons, because it can tell you stuff that you don't realize is going on in the background. Um, the, in this case, see how it's locked up Blender? Because it's working, it's doing something, right? If you wanted to get out of here without qu quitting out of Blender, you could come to the console and push Control-C, and that will stop whatever process is making Blender hang up. But this is working, and I can tell it's working because it's telling me. It's baking this one, it's baking that one, it's baking this one, it's baking that one. So let's see what the result is. Okay, bake complete. We come out to this image. You can see the result here. And you can see that it is sort of what we're going for. Um, and then what it what Simple Bake does is the option that I had was that it hides the old one and it makes a new one with baked. So if we go to layout, we can see that these are all the same. If you look at the material here, I'll bring this up a little bit. So these are all now the same material. And since they're all the same material, we can join them all. So I'll just select these by holding Shift, Control J, and now we have one object and one material, and we're done. So yeah, if you have if you have a more difficult object, uh, I think the packing box is your best friend. You can sort of you can do a bunch of interesting things with the packing box and also pack to others. That's also your second best friend. So for instance, if we, in this same example, we could say, hey, you know what? I want, um, I want this eyeball to take up this space. So I could, of course, grab it and bring it up here, right? And then I could scale it, sort of scale it, and then bring it down, and then do this, and then do that. But what about let's say I wanted all these eyeballs to be just in this space right up here. Well, it becomes a lot more difficult. Then I have to do sort of one at a time and it can really be a time suck. So what you can do is you can select these. You can do a few things. Let's do enable packing box. I'm going to draw, draw packing box. Actually, I'm going to go a little closer so I don't accidentally cut anything off. Draw packing box. To, let's say to there. Actually, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to go like this. So I'm actually going to go a little bit into here. And then I'm going to make sure that I check advanced options, pack to others. So now I can take all of these, pack them in this area, but not touch these others and keep the margin that I want. Okay. So now if I go up to pack, puts them all there nice and neat. And my margin is correct. And if I want to, I can go to basic options. And I can take that margin down a little bit because I don't need it that much for those eyeballs and pack. And then I'll make them a little bit bigger. And so you get the idea. Um, so this this tool is fantastic. Uh, UV Packmaster and Simple Bake are uh, yeah two of my favorite add-ons. I use them all the time. And um, yeah, if you you should definitely go get the free version of UVP. But I, I highly 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 recommend the pro version for more reasons than I can count. Um, so yeah, go check it out. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.